The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Nazuno Kanojo X is owned by Hot Entertainment, Sentai Filmworks and Richi Uishiba. Please support the official release. Oh shit, it's morning again. Uh, I thought my life would finally be over. Don't complain. If you just let me take over every once in a while, you wouldn't have these problems in your life. No one asked you for your opinion. Akira, wake up you Brad! Yeah! Oh god, why me? Ah! Ah, fuck my life! You're a fucking idiot. Why do I have to clean after you? You're 17 and you still can't tell the difference between your left and right. I'm sorry, it's not my fault I'm dyslexic. You mean autistic. <sighs> I hope to god you're adopted. Alright, take this and get the fuck out of here. I've got a client coming at 9. The fat one that leaves condoms in my room? No, the one that's none of your business. Now leave! Hello there everyone, we've got a wonderful new student in our class, here she comes, Rabe Mikito. Rabe, introduce yourself to your new classmates. Hey. Great introduction. Sabaki, be useful for once, and raise your hand. I'm very sorry, but it's the only spot left in class. Yeah, whatever. Sleeping in school? She's cooler than I thought. Uh, what the fuck? So, let's like, eat together and like, talk about our bra size and like, cute girls. Yeah, like, what did you get like that gremlin haircut? Huh? Uh, I'm too poor for food now. Get out of my face. She's so damn badass. <laughs> the fuck is going on with her? Yeah, I wonder what moisturizer she uses. That's not what I meant, you dimwit. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this is so fucking hilarious. I can't. I can't. Is, it, is this drugs? Is this, is this what's going on? Are you damn kids taking your hip bath salts and radical cocaines? What are you on, young lady? Oh, nothing. Jeez. You're worse than my dog, and he's inbred. Yeah, won't happen again. Now everyone else thinks she's crazy. Finally! Someone I can socialize with. Now I uh, just need to figure out how. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot my lunchbox. This is why our sister puts us on a leash whenever we go out. That's all in the past. That was literally yesterday. <sighs> was sleeping through every class not enough? Rabe? You awake? No? I'll touch you. I swear to god, I'll do it. Alright, I'm gonna do it. And this is not sexual harassment. Uh, come on, wake up already! <sighs> Were you just sexually harassing me? No! Cool, I didn't feel like calling the cops today anyways. Rabbit? What? You're leaking. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh boy, female liquids. <laughs> I need to taste it! That's the most disgusting thing you've ever said. Like... Ever. But it's like... Uh, girl fluids. I think this is the closest I'll ever get to girl jizz. That's gross. And this is gross. Don't do it. But I won't ever get another chance. But it's disgusting! 
But it's not like I'll ever get a girlfriend. But it's disgusting. But I've got a huge boner, so common sense doesn't apply anymore. Don't. Ah, fuck it. Oh, wow, that tasted better than I thought. <laughs> it's so disgusting. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need to bleach my tongue. How's that? Common sense, huh? It's a bitch, isn't it? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh. God, why the fuck did you do this? I mean, she's hot, right? So it isn't that bad. You are seriously a moron. I had a dream that night. Oh God, please no. N not a flashback. Fuck. I was dancing with a girl. Rabbit to be precise. Yeah, it was pretty hot. You seriously got fucking issues. <laughs> Mr. Brock, the special needs kid just fainted! Oh, Jesus, he's hot. Literally. Get him to the infirmary! I can't have the principal know a child passed out during my class. Not after the incident with that third grader. <laughs> Fuck! He's fatter than he looks! <sighs> Alright, that's it for today. Mr. Jefferson? Did Tsubaki die in that scene in sports class? No. Unfortunately, we're not that lucky. He didn't. He's just sick at home, probably paddling the pink canoe and playing Call of Duty. But I've got to tell you, not seeing his face makes me appreciate your life a little bit more. Great. Did you really have to get sick? I had to cancel on three clients today because of that, and now we have no way of paying our gas bill this month. <sighs> Jeez. I don't know how, but this is your fault. How is us getting sick my fault? Cause it is always your fault. Akira! There's someone at the door! And for some reason, it's a girl! You're not spending your college funds on prostitutes again, are you? No! She said she's your classmate, so she probably has your homework. Can she come up? Sure! Remember, no means no! Oh god... Don't tell me... Urabe? Yay! Fuck. How are you feeling? Isn't that fucking obvious? Just a small fever. Nothing special. Hmm. So, you've got my homework with you? No. All red flags are going off. Do not fucking trust her. Tsubaki, you aren't really sick. I can tell you what's happening. I told you she's crazy. I fucking told you. When you woke me up two weeks ago, you looked my slobber, didn't you? You're one perverted madman. Ah, shit! How the fuck does she know that? See? Now you're in trouble. Come as a bitch, huh? You fucking moron. Look, we both know you're sick enough to do that. Just tell the truth. It won't lower my already rock-bottom opinion of you, I promise. Uh, well... Ha! <laughs> Try to get out of this one, dickweed. Alrighty then. It can't be helped. Open your mouth, kid. Close your mouth, close your mouth, close your mouth, close your mouth. Oh god, please don't. Why is the boner always victorious? For the love of god, stop thinking with your fucking huh? cock. Do you feel better now? No. Oh, yes. Since you're insanely stupid, I'm gonna explain this in a way so that even you can understand. What you just experienced were withdrawal symptoms from my spit. Wait a sec. Sophia's spittle gets me addicted. Uh, then there must be something in it, right? Do you like uh, smoke or something like that? <laughs> of course I do, but that's not the problem. You aren't addicted to something stupid like nicotine or whatever. The problem is your thing down there. You need my slobber to calm him down, not your body. Huh. I knew it was your fault! How was I supposed to know that would happen? Ah, you are hopeless. This is why you should let me take over more often. Not a chance. So, now that this is out of the way, you can come back to school again. Later. Wait. Now I have to go to school again. Fuck! Oh, Urabe, what's up?
Oh, Subaki. You wanna go home together? You were waiting for me? No one's ever done this for me. She can be so nice. She was the one that got us into this mess to begin with, you idiot! I mean, does she even look like the type to have bad intentions in the first place? Oh my god. You actually made a valid point. Well, I gotta go this way. See ya tomorrow, Rabe. Wait. <laughs> bon appetit. No. She's doing it again. Run. Run! Have you ever stopped to think why everyone thinks you're a retard? Now put it in already. Oh, right. I nearly forgot. Oh, boy. Laugh juice incoming. You goddamn traitor. I knew you liked it. Oh, for fuck's sake. What would Hillary Clinton say? Well, see you tomorrow then. Robbie? Are we going to do this every day from now on? Well, we can't get around it, and I don't want to be held responsible if you die. Great. You just got yourself an infinite supply of spit from a person that you barely know. Imagine she did this to every dude she met before she transferred. Ugh. Do you think you can get mono from this? I mean, better than getting sick again, right? Oh wait, does this mean sucking on a finger is not my life force? Sweet! You disgust me. God! What, what, what if you developed the salvia kink or something? Well, this is technically like making out, so... Why do I have to share a body with you to begin with? As I woke up... As we woke up... As I woke up, I decided to tell Ravi how I really feel about her. See you tomorrow, then. W wait a second, Ravi. There's something I have to tell you. There he goes. Uh, you know, I really enjoy your company. I wanted to ask you if you want to be my girlfriend and do all sorts of good stuff with me. Oh, ho. Oh, well, looks like someone grew a pair overnight. Look, it's not like I have anything against special needs kids, but I'm special too. And if you really want me, I'm going to need to see some proof. All right, then. No, stop. This is sexual harassment. I want something different. Something only you can give me. Wait, I still have that picture of the girl I really liked once. You see this? Isn't she fucking gorgeous? Yes, she is. Go smash her instead of that weirdo. The fuck is this? Well, that's the girl I wanted to know once, but she rejected me and left me emotionally scarred forever. But I'm willing to give up on that bitch and start anew with my new girlfriend. The fuck? Oh, that was unexpected. You know, that only happens to me whenever I get really turned on. But why? A reasonable question for once. I don't know, that's just the way I am. But tell me, are you mentally ill? Um, well, yeah, I have a second voice in my head that constantly tries to tell me what I'm supposed to do. Are you sure that this isn't some sort of deeply rooted psychological trauma manifested from bullying and sheer loneliness by, say, death of close loved ones, tormenting of peers, and dwindling regrets, bottled up and slowly overflowing, and the only way to cope with it is to create an alter ego that's willing to tolerate you? Physiological what now? Never mind, I forgot you're too stupid to think. Alright then, I gotta go. Tsubaki, I'll be your girlfriend! Great! If I knew getting a girlfriend would be this easy, I've already had 10 of those! You should have gotten one that's not a weirdo. 